The reason I started dancing was because I didn't realise that not everybody in the world was a dancer. I come from three generations of dancers in my family, so it was just in the bloodline. How do I do this? How do I change? You're having confidence is absolutely a key part to having success in this industry. Because I'm on a mission. Are you paying attention? Self-motivation is a tricky one, but it's something that you just have to do. I mean, we're our own business and we're our own brand. You have to keep pushing forward. If you want a great and long career, it's really important that you have confidence in what you do, but you need to remain humble about it. Fear and rejection are a huge part of what we do, and it's about finding the tools within yourself to be able to pick yourself up from that and carry on. It's not always high highs. There are low lows, and generally the low lows will outweigh the high highs. It's just that the high highs feel so incredible that you just keep pushing on. What is important though is that when you do have those low lows that you've spent time nurturing the relationships in your life so you know your support network and you know the people that you can turn to when you need them. I think we've all had someone say to us that we're not good enough and then this comes back to self-love. This is about loving yourself and to be able to pick yourself up, move forward and it goes back to backing yourself and knowing your worth. For the kids that do do competitions, yeah. there are a few specifics that I always look for. Technique base, absolutely. I mean, we're adjudicating them on their uh, dance ability. In a, and, and I talk about dance ability in a safe way. But for me, the main thing is I actually want to see who they are. I want to see a real performance. I want to see them feeling the dance. I've got some advice for confidence within the industry and especially for all those kids out there that do comps. Number one is self-love and that starts from within and that's what translates into you being a believable performer. Number two is repetition. It's learning how to put yourself out there and bounce back from the knockbacks. The other thing is you can't exclusively base your worth on your success in this industry alone. You have to be human, you have to be a good person as well. It's about knowing your brand, knowing who your brand is and knowing who the person is. And tip four for the kids that do comps. So I really want them to see their adjudicators as people that are there to help guide them and not judge them. The adjudicators are there to help them with their growth. And lastly, you can never stop learning. The lessons of this craft and this industry are never ending. 